Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be adding additional nodes. So a cool thing about kind and something that microcades doesn't do, for example, is add additional nodes. And so you can work with a multi-node cluster uh, locally, which is nice. So here's the three node cluster that we'll be creating in this lesson, all within Docker again, uh, because kind is Kubernetes in Docker. So we're going to create a control plane and two worker nodes. All are going to be Docker containers. And then those pods will run on top of those individual Docker containers, uh, which are the pods that will be running in our Kubernetes cluster. So let's get started. So again, I'm in my uh, kind configs uh, directory, a uh, directory that I've created for this course, just as we create more and more configs to pass to our kind CLI so we can create different types of clusters. So I'm going to create a file named three node cluster.yaml. And I'm going to paste this in. Feel free to look below to uh, copy and paste yourself as well. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be kind cluster API version kind x kates.io slash v1 alpha 4. And then we're going to list the nodes out here. So the nodes, uh, the roles are going to be one control plan and two worker nodes. So let's save and quit. And then we can do kind create cluster. And then if you remember from the last lesson, we will pass in a uh, similar config, but this time for a three node cluster. And I didn't specify a name there. If you don't specify a name, it will create a cluster named kind. And I already have one named kind from a previous lesson. So I'll name this one multi-node. And it even gives us a nice graphic of how many nodes it's preparing for us. All right, that took about, I don't know, 40 seconds for me. So let's clear the screen. And as we always do, Docker exec, IT, kind, uh, not kind, multi-node, control plane, bash. And then we can do kubectl, get nodes, or NO for short. And we'll see we have three nodes total. One is a control plane and two are the worker nodes. And if we list out the pods O wide, which gives us an extended output in all namespaces, oh, alias k equals kubectl, we'll see, uh, let me zoom out for a second so we can see better. So we'll see here that on the node column, some of these are running on the worker one worker two, and the control plane. And so these are the daemon sets that get created with the cluster when it's bootstrapped with kubeadm. And then the control plane ones we went over in a previous lesson, which are the system components that allow Kubernetes to run. So that's it for this lesson, and look forward to seeing you in the next one.